Where are we going? Oh, right away. I'll be right behind you. What was that? Yeah, yeah, come on! I dare you! <laughs> <laughs> You hurt?
enough. Picked a bad time to get lost. It'll be so much easier to run. Between my training and your evaluations, we'll have these recruits in shape in no time. Very good, my friend. I thank you for your help. How did this recruit do? Surprising, isn't it? For no more training that he has, he's been a natural. Good job, both of you. No, friend. Not now. But wait here for a minute. I have a little surprise for these recruits. Kindrick, get your armor from that chest and put it on and get in line. Recruits! Fall in, front and center! Now then, each of you have gone through your evaluations and come back alive. Well done. Some of you had better reports than others, but you are all still alive and you are improving with each new day of training. But training and discipline are not always enough. To be our best, we have to be a team and a family. So today, you are no longer recruits. You are our gods. Today, each of you has earned your job here in Helden. Who's Who's and you need to look the part. You all have your new armor and shield. Wear it proudly, soldiers. Just like the new banners for this town, your shields have our symbol, the hammer and the anvil on them. That is a very old and proud symbol of courage, in the face of overwhelming odds and never giving up. Be proud, soldiers. We are Helgen! Uh, what is that smell? Sienna has said she might like to tag along with you on some adventures. 
You should talk to her about that. Oh, hello. Is there something that you need? Hmm? Those guards are the backbone of this city's independence. And thanks to you and Korst, they're a formidable defense now. Is it true that you're the Archmage of the College of Winterhold? You sure do get around, don't you? Excellent. Just in time. We have a surprise for you. You've done so much to help us that we all wanted to show you how much we appreciate your help. We thought a nice place to call your own would be a fitting reward for a person of your unique talents. So once we got the rubble cleared from around the door, we discovered that the central tower was completely intact and in great structural condition. We added a few furnishings to make it livable. Then I think you'll find most everything you'll need to make yourself comfortable there. And get this, we found an old armory downstairs. And a huge cavern below that. It was probably meant to be a sanctuary of some sort. Or perhaps it was used as a barracks for guards to sleep in. Anyway, you may wish to use it to store and display your belongings. Oh, and if you like trophies, Patsy is a skilled taxidermist and can mount many of Skyrim's creatures, if you supply the materials he needs. Other than that, the cleanup is going exceedingly well. We'll continue to clean up all these debris and rubble piles. Once that's finished and we have all the supplies delivered, the actual construction can begin. Oh, say, speaking of supplies, my initial lumber order is way overdue to be delivered. The new owner of the mill in Falkreath is a man named Reinhardt. I already paid him a deposit, but he's failed to begin the shipments. If you get a chance, check with him and see what the holdup is. I'd hate to have to take my business to Riverwood, if you know what I mean. Marcus, I'd say they were mad. So you're the new Archmage I've heard about. Okay, what is it? Ooh, I hope we're going somewhere dark and misty. Let's go. Well met, friend. Okay, what is it? Okay, got it. I can mount many of the creatures and animals here in Skyrim if you bring me the materials I need. Take this book. It'll explain everything and tell you what I need. Good day.
grew up hearing songs about Isle de Gobert. Marcus Janus. Ah, yes. The fella from Coral. Well, tell him we're short-handed on out right now, but we're getting to him as quickly as we can. Boland has injured his back and he's convalescing, so I don't have anyone to work the mill. I'm trying to hire more help, but I haven't had any luck. If you want your lumber any faster, you'll have to saw the logs yourself. Then I can send them to be cut into your lumber. Let's see now. Looks like his first order would be... Roughly 15 timbers, so that should get you started. No one has paid me anything in full. I was only paid a deposit. But I can adjust the final price to reflect your sweat equity. I will make sure you get a fair price, given the nature of my current situation. Like I said, it's only 15 logs. It won't take any time. Oh, no need to get hasty. I'll make it worth your while. So Reinhardt finally found someone who will work for free. Nice. Hmm. So Reinhardt finally found someone who will work for free. Nice. I'll tell you that man has no shame. Since my cousin Boland has been down on his back, I came to fill in for him. But I haven't been paid in weeks. I have an idea, but can't prove it. I've probably said too much already. Hey, you better get to work. Those logs aren't going to saw themselves. What did you have in mind? Very well. Honest gold for honest work. I'll take it. Well, I can tell you Boland is not down on his back. He has said that because he and I both refuse to work for free. That damn Reinhardt keeps gambling away all our money. It's that damn fight cave. He's addicted to it. He lost all his money gambling on those damn fights. Boland tried to tell me, but I wouldn't listen. He doesn't have any money to pay me for my work, so I ain't working until he can pay me. You'll have to ask Reinhardt about it if you want to know any more. But don't tell him I said anything. I'll deny it. That's all I can tell you. Ah, those cousins. Always running off at the mouth. Roland doesn't know what in oblivion he's talking about. Ah, damn blabbermouth. And just can't keep his mouth shut. I'm sorry I lied to you. You had me trapped and I didn't know what to do. But say, maybe you can help me out of this problem of it. Because, unless you do, it could be weeks before the rest of your lumber for Ogun is delivered. Roland is right. I'm broke and I can't pay anyone for the work. Lost it. Gone. Went on a bad run in a fight cave. But that is where you can help me. I take my last bit of gold and bet on you. You fight and win enough times and I'll get my money back. And you keep your winnings from the pit. 
It's like an arena. Men fight, people bet, try to win money. The fighters are paid if they win. If they lose, well, you know. Exactly. No need to tell you the rules. There aren't any. The only exception is the fights are between men, Mur, or Kaji only. And of course, the occasional orc. But no creatures, giants, or the like are allowed in the pit. Only the civilized races. Beyond that, wear any armor, use any weapon or magic you like, and fight to the death. You have to have a recommendation. Take this letter to Goro. It's from a friend of mine in Cyrodiil. It was for another fighter that met an untimely end. So don't ask any questions about it. You'll find the cave a little ways down the west road heading out of town. One last thing. We must have no further contact until all this is over. Once I get my money back, I'm done with that pit for good. You may return to see me then, but if you try to talk to me in the cave, I will act like I don't know you. I'll speak with you again later. Hey, 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 calm down. You don't think I know that? I just want to get back on my feet and I'm done with that place. Let's see, from Rolfstone, heart of Bruma. Haven't seen him in months. Please tell him not to be a stranger when you speak to him. My, he was an impressive warrior in his day. But age eventually catches us all, I suppose. Between you and me, I heard he killed dozens of those Altmiri bastards during the Great War. Well then, if you're a friend of his, you are certainly welcome here. Go down through the passage underneath here and see Wiglof down in the blue room. He'll get you started. And, uh, don't get yourself killed, okay? Hmm, you think you got what it takes to make it in the pit? 
We have Myrmidon matches going on right now. It just so happens I have an opening on the blue team. All pit dogs start as challengers to our Myrmidon level fighters. <laughs> if you want to look at it that way, be my guest. Either way, everyone starts on the blue team and proves themselves from there. Prepare yourself, and let me know when you're ready to fight. Well, you have to live first. <laughs> but each Myrmidon match pays 250 gold at the cage. Report to Goru after each fight for your earnings. If you're ready to fight again, come see me. Need something? Very well. Your first match will be against a particularly nasty orc with an enchanted mace. He's a big brute and can take a hit, so be on your toes. Follow me. Gentlemen, welcome to another exciting round of action in the Fight Cave! Your first fighter! You know him, and you love him! Hailing from Markarth, by way of the Dragon Tail Mountains! Let's have a big round of applause for your favorite! Green Myrmidon! Mark! Ah! Fearful! And for your challenger, today we have a new pick dog from the blue team! Hailing from parts unknown, please welcome! Your challenger! <laughs> and so we have two fighters full of rage and ready to do battle. Two warriors have entered this pit, but only one warrior will leave. Your wagers have been placed, and you're ready for war. Let's find out who will be victorious. Let the match begin. Come on, yeah. Give it your best shot. And there we have it. A devastating mauling by our challenger. Let's hear it for the new big dog. coming soon, so don't go away. Let's see if this challenger from the blue team can keep it up. Oh yes, you certainly earned this. 250 gold for a Myrmidon match. Well done. Now there's just one thing, Challenger. 
We need you to choose a name so we can put on the cards for any more matches you fight in. Please see Wigloff and decide what you want to call yourself, will you? surprised a lot of people out there, Pit Dog. You fought well, or at least well enough. Most Pit Dogs don't make it through a Myrmidon match, but you, you might be special. Got an eye for that sort of thing. Time will tell. So, yes, what do we call you? be known as Blade Master. Prepare yourself, and let me know when you're ready to fight. Excellent. Your next Myrmidon is a local Nord named Vault. I wouldn't get too close to him if I were you. Just take my word on that, is all I can say. Follow me. Challenger, Blade Master! Let's find out who will be victorious! Let the match begin! Come on, fight me! In another amazing fight from the blue team, Vault lays slain in this pit. <laughs> this new pit dog is rapidly making a name for themselves here at the fight cave. Stick around, we will have more matches later on. <laughs> Of course, 250 gold for another Myrmidon match. Well done.
let that vampire touch you, did you? Don't get too close to me if you did. Anyways, you've defeated two Myrmidons, and that earns you a new rank. So, you are no longer a pit dog, and I award you the rank of Myrmidon. All Myrmidon challengers fight warrior-level opponents. And you've drawn a very crafty and unpredictable spellcaster named Ulnaril. Follow me to the pit. And gentlemen, take your places for our next match! From the red team, please welcome your Altmer warrior, Onaril the Unbeaten! <laughs> and from the blue team, Fresh off two victories! Our newest Myrmidon! Blade Master! Our fighters are ready to do battle! Let the match begin! Yeah. Yeah. Coming up! Of course, 300 gold for a warrior match. Well done. Well, you certainly handled that elf like a seasoned warrior. I hear for this fight. One of our gladiators has a... His name is Brutus, and he is a veteran fighter. So watch yourself. Follow me.
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. For this match, let's hear a round of applause for your gladiator, Brutus! <laughs> For your challenger, our newest warrior, Blade Master! <laughs> Fighters, take your positions and let the match begin! You're messing with the wrong girl! Continue! Brutus has been defeated! <laughs> Stick around! We will have more matches later! Of course, 350 gold for a gladiator match. Well done. You defeated one of our most accomplished. Beating a gladiator gains you the new rank of warrior. He is a. Follow me to the pit. Take a look. Until next time. From the blue team, fresh from a mulling defeat, a Brutus, welcome back. Blade Master! Fighters, take your positions and let the match begin! Of course, 400 gold for a hero match. Well done. Brawler, you he has requested a match with you. And I hereby make no mistake. This Khajiit is champion for a reason. He is one tough opponent. I hope you're ready for this. Follow me.
Ladies and gentlemen, we have something special for you for our last match. Our grand champion has returned to Skyrim. Please welcome back to the pit, Subra. <laughs> And our challenger from the blue team, please welcome back, Blade Master! Fighters, take your positions and let the match begin! You want a piece of me? Champion has been defeated! Stick around, we will have more matches later on. Yes. Five hundred gold for defeating a champion. I wouldn't have believed it if I didn't see it with my own eyes. Well done. Did you ever? We haven't had a challenger that exciting. Oh, since... Oh, uh, I can't remember when. Oh, um, yes, uh, of course I have. But I'm sure you can see how addictive it can become, can't you? My, you do have a short temper, don't you? Why so angry? Well, you'll get your lumber soon enough. Please tell Mr. Janus I will have a shipment out for him tomorrow. No one is getting swindled by me. Oh yes, that. How about the first two shipments are free of charge? Here is a new contract for Mr. Jabbers. You're right. Goodbye.
Marcus and Valerius keeping you busy, friend. Hey, a So you're the new Archmage I've heard about. Guess you should teach me a thing or two no, about magic. No, I'm glad I found a sturdy place to set. What? New contract? Discounts, you say? What happened? Maybe so. But I'll bet it will make for quite a tale to tell your grandchildren around a campfire someday. <laughs> ah, how I envy you. If only I were but a younger man. Hmm. Ah. Forgive my mindless rambling of younger days. It's just an old soldier's dreams. Anyway. This says... You will receive a considerable savings. And the shipments will begin immediately. Well done. Now we can get that old inn finished. And start on the rest of the town. No. You've worked yourself out of a job with me. And again, thank you. But I believe Valerius has more information for you. Please, see him at your earliest convenience. Staying safe, I hope. Harbinger of... Yes. I wanted to be absolutely certain before I spoke with you, but it's been confirmed by my sources. There is indeed a slavery network in operation here in Skyrim, and all clues point to my old nemesis Arendil as its chief operator. They're capturing citizens, whole families, and even their children, and selling them as slaves. I'm afraid only the gods know what's happening to these poor souls after that. Arundel has certainly covered his tracks well, so we have very little, if anything, to go on. All we know is that he specifically requested a transfer here, and to be assigned as overseer of all prison operations in Skyrim. It was certainly convenient, was it not? Be that as it may, fortunately one of their guards had loose lips at precisely the right moment. And you may remember Korst saying he spoke of his relationship with some whore at the Tallmass Tavern. I know, it's not much, but maybe she can provide us with something else to investigate. Can you see what you can find out from her? Here, I'll mark it on your map. Well met, friend. This town is going to be pretty when it's finished. I can't wait to open up the shop. What do you need? <clears throat> well, handsome, I only provide one kind of service here. And information, ain't it? Besides, I never kiss and tell. What you see is what you get with me, sugar. So, if you're not interested in my company, I suggest you go to the bar and leave me be. Suit yourself, honey.
Okay. Hey. Okay. What is it? Oh, I guess I should have brought something to read. Don't be long, okay? Hmm. Hopefully the shop will be finished soon. Don't forget to come and see me when we're open. Well, what you see is what you get with me, sugar. Well, baby, if you're feeling that generous, maybe I know a little. But I was hoping to get to know a handsome man like you a little better. It's a pity. I think I'd love to feel those hard muscles under all that soft fur. About him? Nothing much. He's been here to see me a time or two. Not very, uh, impressive, if you ask me. But that's another story. Hold on, sweetie. I'm getting to it. All I really know is that another one of the girls said someone else came in here looking for him yesterday. She said instead of a tall mast, he was more like a limp sail. <laughs> but she said he sure did his share of talking. I guess if you can't be good at, well, you know, something else, talking is the next best thing. She said he was one of those kind you wouldn't want to tell any secrets to, if you know what I mean. He said his name was Manin. Anyway, he said he would be taking a ship out of solitude back home soon. For all I know, he might still be there. Now, if you don't need me for anything else, I have customers to take care of. Mmm, that's a pity, honey. Hi. Need, need something? something? So, y what you did in that prison when we got- Okay, what is it? Ooh, I hope we're going somewhere dark and misty. Okay. Let's go. True, I may look the part of dashing swordsman, but I prefer the art of wit to that of warfare. I'm hearing good things about the guild through the grapevine. Brought me... Take a look. Just remember me if you get your hands on anything else. What? Who? You must be mistaking me for someone else. I know no one by that name. What? That's absolutely preposterous. Yes, yes, I know who you are. I mean, who doesn't know about the hero of Skyrim? Very well. I will talk. But only if you guarantee me you'll let me sail back home. I don't know. I never met him, actually. I only met with one of his... associates. An odd bandit named Gunlock. Some say his last name is Forktongue, but I wouldn't know about that for sure. 
All I know is that Erendil sends the um, product to Gunlog, and he takes care of getting them smuggled out of Skyrim. I don't know exactly where he is, but I know they smuggle the product out of Skyrim from an old shipwreck on the coast northwest of here. I heard they used an old frozen cave to hold the product, and then used boats to transfer them out to one of their ships at night. My shipment is supposed to be on its way there now. I swear to you, that is all I know. No, I suppose it won't. Not now, at least. Yes, yes, of course. As I said, I've already made those arrangements. You needn't worry about that. Now then, I'll take my leave of you. You're messing with the wrong girl! You okay? Something? 